Here's a question for you. Are you an individual who uses God for your own purposes? Or are you an individual who worships God for his glory? Now, that's a pretty loaded question, isn't it? But there's this story in 1 Samuel chapter 4 that occurred with the people of Israel. And at this time, the people of Israel were being taunted by their then arch enemies, the Philistines. And uh, they decided just to go up and go to battle. So it seems like kind of an impulsive thing. Let's go up and conquer the Philistines. And it did not work out as they had hoped it would. And the Philistines totally beat them up. Um, they lost 4,000 warriors in that first battle. So obviously they go back licking their wounds, um, but yet not ready to give up yet. So they go, oh, maybe our problem is, is this time what we didn't do is we didn't take the Ark of the Covenant with us. Now, you may remember that the Ark of the Covenant uh, symbolized the presence of God. And in other cases, when, when the people of Israel would go with the Ark of the Covenant, it would have tremendous influence and consequences. But what they didn't do, they didn't inquire of God or do anything else. They just kind of said, okay, let's just take this thing. Let's use it so we can win. And uh, so they did. They got Eli's two crooked sons to to go with him, and they went up into battle. Guess what happened? The Philistines beat up on him again. Um, Eli's two sons were killed in the battle, and most tragic at all, the Ark of the Covenant was stolen by the Philistines. So not only did the people of Israel get utterly defeated, but they lost the Ark of the Covenant. You see, you may wonder, why did all that go wrong? Well, when you read through Scripture, they didn't inquire of the Lord. They didn't stop and ask, "Is Lord, is, should we do this battle? Because we see time and time again, they, when the people of Israel would inquire of the Lord, should we fight this battle? Are you going to go with us? We would see tremendous defeats. They would conquer tremendous armies. But in this case, they, they had no concern. They had no concern for the will of God or of the worship of God. They simply wanted to use an object that represented God so that they could accomplish, so that they could accomplish their own ends to win that battle. Now, winning the battle wasn't a bad thing. But what, what God was pointing out to those people, and it's important for us to understand, is you don't use the things of God to accomplish your own goal. You can't use God. You cannot manipulate God. It's just utterly impossible. Now, you may be asking, Bob, I don't have the ark. How can I do this? Well, there are a lot of ways that we can try to manipulate God. We, we do it in, in ways to say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I go to church on Sunday because I want to make sure that if I go to church on Sunday, uh, that, that my week will go well or, or I won't lose my job or I'll get the promotion. If I make sure that I carry my Bible with me or, I, or I, I'm just going to make sure I read it a little bit every day because I, 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 need, I need this position, I need God to fix this thing. So we're taking our faith, we're, we're taking our faith, the, the aspects of our faith, and misusing them to try to get what we want. So what we're doing really is we're trying to use God to get what we want, rather than dying to ourselves so that we can be people that he wants us to be. See, the twist is, are you trying to get God, are you trying to manipulate God and use What's, what's important to us as believers, use those things for your own good, for your own selfish gain? Or are you dying to yourself and using what God has given us, his means of grace, to be fed and to be nourished? Because scripture is important to us. But when we come and we read our, our scripture, and we read it on a regular basis, which I encourage you to do, when we come together and we worship on the Lord's Day, when we gather together in groups and study scripture and pray together, we come worshiping God. We put him first and we come and say, we come to praise you. We come to worship you. We come to, to thank you for all you've done. It's not about us, God. It's about you. I actually want to die to myself. I want to experience you more. I want your will for me in my life. I want you to work through me for, for your honor and for your glory. It is when we move to being worshipers 
that we get to experience God in deeper and fuller ways than we could ever ask or imagine. It says we die to our own selfish ambitions and we seek the honor and the glory of Christ that we begin to experience something that, that no one else can experience except for those who are believers in Jesus Christ. So as, as you move through the rest of this day, as you reflect on the, on the coming days in this, in, the, in this era of the COVID-19 pandemic, I encourage you to step back and begin to ask yourself, am I, am I simply trying to use God? Am I a person who, who just wants to take aspects of him to get what I want? Or am I a worshiper who is striving to die to myself so that I can experience him more fully? And as I experience him more fully, be a light to the world around me. I'm Bob Warner, and I'd like you to think about that.